Hey, this is Steven, your event director, host, and MC for the 10th annual Agents on Film Festival of Shorts 2021. And we hope that you've gone on our website to check out all the amazing films for this year's selection, as well as an archive of our 10 years of interviews, projects, Q and A's, including this Q and A. I'm joined here with the producer and director of A Father's Burden. This is in our drama category. This is Richard Hayward. Richard, thanks for joining. Oh, thank you for having me today, Stephen. Absolutely, and congratulations again for being selected because you are a friend of AOF. Your film in the past has also appeared uh, in our festival lineup. So this film, A Father's Burden, very deep, very, very heartfelt, very emotional uh, with a lot of close-ups uh, and, and just, just a lot of problems, but then problem solved at the end. You go ahead and tell us what are we gonna expect after watching your film, Richard? Yeah, so um, when I wrote this film, I really wanted to emphasize the relationships between fathers and uh, sons and fathers and daughters, kind of, uh, you know, focus on the, the father uh, aspect of, of relationships. And I wanted to kind of come full circle where it's almost, um, we have the older gentleman in the story. He's uh, trying to reconnect to his daughter back in Korea. Uh, so he's kind of like a first generation immigrant. And then he's helped by kind of like a second generation um, um, Asian American who's kind of going through a similar thing. He's separated from his family. And so they kind of help each other out. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to, uh, you know, present to the audience, you know, the, the strong bond that, you know, fathers have with their families and kind of what they're willing to go through to, um, you know, be successful and happy in their life. So Richard, as the writer, was there a choice to differentiate their social classes, whereas you have the working immigrant father and then the American born father as well. Was there a choice to separate them in social class, but then also connect them as they're both fathers in kind of the same situation? Right, yeah. Um, I definitely wanted to kind of show uh, people in kind of different stages. Um, I guess kind of like the whole immigrant story uh, a lot of times and always of course but when uh, people first arrive at this country they do have to kind of take uh, kind of menial um, jobs just to kind of make ends meet mm -hmm. and then kind of the progression through Minho's story is you know his family's been here a generation so he's able to kind of attain the American dream kind of what um, James's character is striving for with you know his family and stuff um, so I did want to kind of show you know when you arrive to this country and you've been here a while, there's kind of a progression through the social ladder of what you can achieve, you know, by, uh, it, it draws a lot of people to America exactly for that reason. And uh, that's kind of what James is attaining. Uh, but then I also wanted to show the other side that even if you do make it here and you do are, and you are successful, you still have struggles that you have to now kind of deal with that you might have not had to before. Great aha moment. Um, Richard, a lot of the, the angles and the shots were close-ups. They were in a little cafe booth and, and you kept it very tight. That was a great choice. It really enhanced the intensity and the emotion into the, the fatherly love and then also the father's struggle. With that said, what was your inspiration of shooting like that and also the overall inspiration of the film? Yeah, um, I definitely did a lot of close-ups for a couple of reasons. I did really want to zoom in on those characters and kind of make it a, a personal relationship between the two characters. Um, part of it is also um, just production-wise. Um, we were filming in like this huge room um, in the cafe scene, uh, but there really wasn't a lot going on in the rest of the room. So it would have looked, I think, kind of weird and kind of empty. So um, a little bit was by choice, and a little bit was by necessity. Um, the, the, the reason for a lot of close. Yeah, it was really mostly to kind of focus on the two characters, mm -hmm. um, the car scenes, making him kind of a, a ride share driver, again, kind of putting these two characters in really close uh, situations. And um, it's, so it's definitely kind of by choice to kind of isolate the, the two characters. And yeah, on, on that. Rich, a great hack on the cafe approach because it looks small, like, like we're talking like single booth, single um, counter seat, mom and pop steiner. So mm -hmm. accomplished, well done. Well, as a director, writer, a producer, any thank yous, shout outs? Yeah, um, I definitely said I, I work with Minho a lot, as you probably know, he's been in three or four of my uh, projects. So yeah. I definitely couldn't do it without him. Uh, he was actually um, 
who connected me to James Ng, which um, again, I kind of have another connection through uh, some other circles, but uh, he brought him on board and um, I kind of wrote this script tailored to, to Min and James just kind of based on um, uh, what uh, Min was kind of looking, what he wanted to do, kind of um, bringing the story about, you know, an immigrant story. Um, and so definitely a lot of thanks to Min and James. He came aboard. Uh, I didn't really know him too much before, but he was very easy to work with. He brought a lot of personal uh, experiences uh, to the character. Um, again, he has a he has a daughter in real life, so he was able to kind of draw on that uh, when you know uh, dealing with his his uh, daughter on screen and stuff like that. And so uh, definitely the the two of them were a big help and inspiration in creating this film and taking this project to completion. Well, hey, folks, make sure you check out this drama. It's called A Father's Burden. It's about two fathers struggle with different social classes, but also meet in the middle as they have the same struggle with family. I want to thank my guest, Richard, for joining us here today. Congratulations on being selected and have a great season, Richard. Thank you, Stephen. Have a great day.